Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Molly. You awake, Molly? Guess what time it is? It's time for an adventure. Oh, it is so water time. You up for a paddle? <laughs> Let's go. Today, I decided to head up to go on a little adventure in Gull Lake, which is up by Gravenhurst in Ontario. I got here early in the morning, but not quite early enough to catch the sunrise, unfortunately. But we're still here for some beautiful colors as the sun was rising in the sky, the mist over the river, and man, I just love this area of Ontario. on track to making a certain cache, my 16,000th find. This geocache has not yet been found. It is unfound, it is an FTF opportunity, and it's been out for the longest time, so I decided to take the risk. Let's hope this geocache is still unsigned. Now the other thing with this geocache is it is a bonus cache. It is connected to an adventure lab that hasn't yet been completed. And this adventure lab is out on Gull Lake here with five locations to visit all around the lake. There are traditional caches and so I'm gonna grab a few while I'm doing this adventure lab. Now this is called Dead Horse Island. This is also a very quaint, nice little island because it has a perfect little docking spot. No information as to why it's called Dead Horse Island, except that there is a little memorial to a dead horse. And that's part of the question for the adventure lab. Nah, gotcha. And what do we have here? A magazine page. It's a horsey. A Canada pencil. A lighter with no fluid in it. La Salle. He was the uh, captain of the griffin of the geocache that I found for my cache anniversary. Got some random bones. Another horsey. The log book. All right, log signed. Time to move on. Sweet, that is now three down. I gotta watch out for rocks in the water. is this? We are locating tiny containers, orbit containers, out in the middle of the wilderness. There is nothing here but wonderful, glorious nature. Beep, beep. Time to back up. For whoops, that's a dead end. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the beaver dam right behind me. You can hear it. I am suddenly scared for my life. There are geese over there. 
and they flew right at me. I think they might have nests nearby. One of them is watching me, giving me the side eye. <laughs> I see you. What a spectacular day. This is the perfect weather. There's no bugs, no black flies, nothing, and a whole bunch of geocaches to find. And of course, sometimes you don't spot them until they're right in front of your face. <laughs> All right, I am finally at location two of the adventure and I am sneaking under an old barge where they used to play music, apparently. And I had to answer a question, but there is a cache here. <laughs> and I think I see it. Well, what's this? That looks like an active geocache. <laughs> now it's off to the old steel girder Kings Highway 11 bridge for location three. Gotta head way down there for location number four and five. I am just once again in awe of the beauty of this area. I mean, we've got cottages with cliffs and boulders and rocks, geology. This is the Canadian shield here. This is just gorgeous, unbelievable. It's a phone booth. What? <laughs> Alright, we have the Trans-Canada Pipeline coming up, the next location in the adventure. This is where the Trans-Canada Pipeline passes through. I can't show you the sign because there's information on the sign that you need in order to answer the question. And there's actually a no anchor warning on this sign, just so that ships don't drop their anchor on the pipeline. And I'm just slowly floating on by. We are now in transition between Gull Lake and Silver Lake, for these are the Silver Narrows.
can I resist going for a challenge cache, which is just a little further than the end of the Adventure Lab. And wow, is it obvious. Oh, where, oh, where could the little cache be? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Ooh, it's a little soggy. All right, you guys, that cache is signed in. It is time to go for the bonus, because location five is done. It is just so calm and peaceful here. I am not paddling and I don't think I'm moving at all. Back through the narrows we go. All right, I am on approach to GZ of the bonus cash, and I'm gonna try to keep this location secret, and I'm gonna hit a wall. Oh! <laughs> All right, y'all. This is it. Cash is here. No one else is around. <laughs> oh, it's looking fresh. It, it is a very open. There we go. Geocache log, and there is no name. FDF. Yes, yes, yes. By Andreanel and Koroleva. This is awesome. That is the FTF, May 6th, 2021. Thank you, A and K. This was a fantastic, excellent adventure. Good to go for the next adventure. Yes. And this little guy also makes my cash find number 16,000. Woohoo! Thank you, Andrea Nell and Koroleva. This was an epic, excellent adventure. One fun thing to do with milestones is to celebrate them by finding a really cool geocache, a memorable experience, whether it's uh, like a really cool gadget or an epic adventure like this, just something to mark the occasion. I've got to say, get out there and find some of these epic high terrain adventure geocaches because man, these are memorable experiences and they will push your geocaching to a whole new level. Maybe this has inspired you. I hope it has. Thank you for coming along on this journey and happy caching, excellent adventuring. But wait, there's more because there's always just one more. <laughs> but wait, there's always just one more. Just one more. <laughs> just one more. Just one more.